Hi guys! Today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. We are going to, well, we're, as you know, we are in lockdown at the moment. Um, and I just really wanted to um, have a go at doing some more magazine cutting. So I put the call out on a local Facebook page for any unwanted magazines and I got a stack of them. So I have got plenty to cut through for the next wee while, which is awesome. Um, I definitely get less from these sorts of, you know, That's Life, Women's Day, kind of trashier magazines. I definitely get less in those ones, but I've still got a massive pile of really interesting looking magazines here to go through. So I thought I would just show you today, kind of, um, I don't know, I'll pick one out and we will go through it together and I will, let's go with this one, New Zealand Life and Leisure. And I just thought I would show you the types of things I cut out, what I use, what I don't use, and in case it gives you any ideas. I like using magazines because they're often things that just get binned um, after a certain amount of time when they're no longer relevant. Um, but they have really cool images in them. I'm sorry about the light, it's a bit, the, the sun's just, the last rays are just coming through this window, I think they'll be gone soon. And um, I definitely prefer magazines that have a slightly sturdier cover. I don't know why, I just do. I think they're actually really good for tearing off. If there's nothing you want on them and folding them and using them as a base um, to make your own like 10 kind of journal covers or a soft cover journal, they actually work really well for that. They're quite sturdy. Not the paper covers, but the ones that are slightly more cardstocky cover. So I think I might use this cover. There's nothing particularly that I really want off of it. So I might keep that cover aside for that. And then I'll check on the back cover. Oh, I don't know. I might use part of this rug. I don't know. But I'll keep it aside for now anyway. And let's have a flip through and see if there's anything interesting in here. I often, I won't do this entirely while I'm on camera with you guys because it will be kind of boring. But I will often, if there's a large, some large text... I cut it out and then I just cut out individ the individual letters if it's not a word that I or a phrase that I think I'll use. Design warehouse is not a phrase that I believe I will use. So I will just go ahead and chop out all of these letters and I just use them, you know, you get all the letters and then you can make a ransom note. No, um, you just get all the letters and I use it like that though and I will make up words using the letters that I have and I don't know I, I, I really like the look of the mismatch letters from different fonts and different things um all made into one word I think that it look, can look really cool so I'm just going to pop those letters aside and we will keep going through and see I hope I'm in frame seeing if there's anything here that catches my eye as being something I could use in my own journal so I, do, I just use these images that I like, um, basically for, see I could use this text up here, I won't cut it out now, I'll probably, I normally will go through, find all the images I really like first when I get a magazine, and then all phrases, and then I'll go back later and just cut out the words, because the words are a little bit less interesting to just tear, you know, cut out individual letters. This here is nothing overly special, but I feel as though I could make something with this. At layer a photo over it. Use it kind of like scrapbook paper for collage. Um, so I'll grab that piece. And then there's nothing particular that I want to use there. Do any of you guys use magazine images in your own personal journaling? How many of you are journal makers? And how many journal makers of you actually use your own journals and actually journal? Um, I have only really started journaling properly. I've been making journals for over a year, but I've only started actually using journals this year. And I absolutely adore it. So I'm going to cut out this cute little hippo image because I don't know, I'm just sort of a sucker for cute little animals. Um, and this is a very sweet looking little hippo. So I will pop him up there. Is there anything else I really like? I mean, I might use the clock. I don't know. I will just cut it out. I just do this really rough to begin with. Um, just quickly chop things out. 
Oh, this piece is interesting. I hope you can see that. It, I don't know what it is, but it, it looks interesting. So I will tear out the page and chop it out. I don't know how I'll use it, but I, I do use bits like this in my journals. I actually think I will do a second video after that, um, after this one. So keep your eyes peeled for the second video to this part, second part to this, which will be me actually using um, these pieces that I've cut out today on film in my journal to show you kind of what I do. I'm going to cut out this here because I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram or not, but I have a cafe journal, so it's a journal... I only ever use when I go to a cafe and I love taking myself out to cafes um, just alone and I journal there about my experience of that cafe. So these, this cute little plate and cups here I think I could use on a spread um, about journaling in a cafe. So I think that's about all I need from that page. Yes, I am just biffing the papers on the floor. I can easily pick them up. I love it when um, magazines have illustrations. That's my favourite sort of thing. But this page actually here looks like it's got a wee bit on it. Like I will cut out this little bird's nest um, up here. I think that's kind of cute. Um, and I'll cut out this weird illustration of these people juggling fruits and vegetables. I don't know how exactly I'll use it, but it's kind of fun and interesting. So I'll cut that out. And here is another little illustration down the bottom here of a pot with some bread and uh, it looks like cheese fondue is happening there potentially. So I'll just cut pretty roughly around the edges of that and add that to my pile. Is there anything else I like on this page? This little graphic is about tents and I, my husband and I do love to go camping together so I might just keep that in case. Right, we've got some cute little, a cute little um, bush berry herb something there so I might cut that out and what's on the back? Nothing particularly interesting there so I will just cut around this little bit here, add that to my pile. Anything else? No, I kind of like that word, the butterfly, and I might just cut that out. And sometimes I, like you can see I'm doing here, I will cut out um, a phrase. I'm not going to cut these into letters. I'm going to keep that as a phrase and see if I can use that at some point. Oh, and I like this big butterfly. I'll cut around that. That's really cute. Later on, um, when I feel like I'm going to use these images in my journal, I will probably, most definitely, fussy cut a lot nicer and neater around the edge there. Um, this carpet down the bottom here is fabulous. And I know that, what am I going to do really with that? I will use it. They will be something I can use it for, I think. Hopefully. So, Anyway, that, that page is done. Anything here I like? Mm, I kind of like some of these bits maybe over this side. I um, I like this little New Zealand part here. I'm from New Zealand, in case you didn't know that. I am a New Zealander, so I, I don't know. I kind of think I could probably use that little picture somehow. Anything else? I don't know, that's probably enough for me from that page. What else do we have? Chasing waves. I kind of like chasing waves. Uh, I live right near the beach and in the summertime we can go down to the ocean and it's so nice and I feel like there's potential I could use that phrase. I find that the titles in magazines actually generally are quite good generic -y phrases that I could use. Not always, but often, because, I don't know, they have quite generic -y sort of titles. Anything else? Not on these pages. Um, I like this You Are Not Alone. I think that's kind of, I might actually just go ahead and cut right up 
because that top part with the butterflies would make a nice little background piece too. Um, cool, done on that page. I think I'm going to cut out to the hills because I live right up on the top of the hill. I don't need high street to the hills. I just want to the hills because I have recently moved up onto the hill and I love it. I, we used to live down in the bay and we have just moved up to the hills and I love it up here. I love it, love it, love it. We have, oh, I like that monkey. Anything on the back? Oh, I like the 20 as well. But I think I'm going to go with that monkey, although it's quite big. I still think I'm going to go ahead and take that monkey in case I want to use it because it's pretty dang cute. And like I said before, I'll go back and I'll fussy cut that out later. And then this word Denmark, I will never use the, well, unlikely I'd ever use the word Denmark, but I can use the letters in it because they're a nice, big, dark, bold font. And I like it. So I'm going to take design as well. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. Hope you guys are doing well and okay with this horrible virus that's been going around. We are in week two end of week two beginning of week three of total lockdown here in New Zealand but we should be finished well we had four weeks that we had to do minimum and I think we'll be finished after that because actually New Zealand's cases are really going down so well it's awesome um I'm gonna cut out these words do more of what you love I could use them what else do we have I'm like it's such a rundown little shack but I just really like the peaceful look but it's a bit too big it's cute. oh I like this little image with the seashells that's cute I'll cut that out like I said I live near the beach and I love seashells I will snip that one On there and I kind of like this image too down the bottom there what else do we have these my little pile is starting to avalanche there Oh, I like food parts. I do like food. I like looking at the recipes. I'm hoping to make a recipe journal at some point and, you know, curate lovely recipes from magazines and family favourites to put in it. I like that one with the berries there. So I'll cut that one out. Do love me a good strawberry. Probably it'll be more of an appropriate picture for summertime. It is autumn here in New Zealand right now, so it's a wee way till summer, but I am good at hoarding, so I'm sure I can keep it until then. There's always so much in these magazines. You can find a lot of cool stuff, I think. Really cool and so cheap. Interesting pieces to collage into your journals because... Um, buying ephemera packs and things like that can be really pricey sometimes and magazines you can often pick them up really cheaply and they'll have a stack of cute little imagery in them so here we go I like this here we've got this cute little leaf illustration a little backpack and some pears I will cut those out Add them to my pile. Now, do I like any of these other pictures here? I've got avocados. That's kind of cute there. I don't know. I don't know what I use. Oh, there's a cute little bee image down here. I'll cut that one out. There we go. Cut that little, little tiny bee. Can you see it? 
Cut that one out. Oh, I like that piece. And this piece here, Aotearoa. I'll cut those ones out. Always, always tip, tip, top trick. That's what I'm trying to say. Always check the back in case there's something even cooler that you're missing out on on the back. But I will cut out this Aotearoa flag. In case you didn't know, Aotearoa is the Māori word for New Zealand. So I'll chop that one out and then I will chop out this beautiful piece of art up here. And I love that it's in a circle shape. That's really cool. That makes it so interesting. Okay. Uh, we're getting about to the end here now. There's this little piece of art right down the bottom here that has some cyclists. And so I don't know why I would need it. I'm not a cyclist. I don't even really know how to ride a bike anymore. It's been so long since I last rode a bike. But I like the style of the artwork. So you never know, I might use it to decorate a page. I think that's it, guys. So that is, let's have a look, quick look. We've got a little bird's nest. We've got to the hills. We've got this little New Zealand scene. This beautiful art. These bikers. Aotearoa flag. we got this great, big, huge monkey. Seashells. The little bee, the strawberries, do more of what you love, the backpack leaves and pears, more seashells, this cool owl over here and the moon and the trees here. You are not alone with the cute pinky purpley butterflies, this bit of carpet that I just think is interesting, this great big butterfly, chasing waves, the butterfly, this cute little branchy piece here, we've got this little tent graphic these quirky people with fruit then we've got this little cheese fondue image and then we've got a plate and two cups and this random piece of art here a little hippo and a little clock that was from one magazine that i got for free so that really is quite a lot of cool stuff that i could use in my journal and keep your eye out for the next video that should be coming out after this one because that will be a journal with me um, using these pieces here to decorate a spread. Um, I won't obviously be able to use all of them on one spread but it will be just using some of them showing you kind of how I use magazine cutouts in my journals to decorate them and make them look really cool and interesting. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!